I believe that in order to share God's love and uh, excite people about God, first of all, every Christian must show sincerity themselves and uh, being authentic about it. What I mean by authentic is when they have to do what they uh, believe. They have to do what they preach because if people does not see a total commitment, it is really hard for them to see the love of God. Christians also need to be excited about it. And what I've been excited, they need to be really um, enjoying God's love themselves. How can they ever share God's love if they don't even know themselves how much they really love God? It's not shown in their life, it's not, it's not seen in their life. In order for them to share God's love, um, obviously you can't keep um, all this good news to yourself. You have to be bold about it. You can't be cowardly. Uh, it takes courage to be a Christian. But Christianity is not about convenience. It is about um, what are you uh, offering uh, to people? Uh, what are they getting in return? It's eternal life. So that's how, that, those are my main points, how to share God's love. I believe that the kids uh, can go out and help elderly people, maybe rake their leaves, stuff like that. They can offer them like a glow track or even ask if they can pray with them. They need to know that that's what they really want to do is help this person in any way that they can. Another way would be going to the rest homes and singing to the elderly. They just love the kids to sing to them. I was uh, baptized when I was 15 years old and I have done many things through my life. I did do the prison ministry for about 10 years until I became so crippled I can't get around. The girls at the jail, I always asked them how many here have children and every hand in there would go up and they would, a lot of them start to cry because they felt they had let their children down. And we asked for prayer requests and they'd uh, come around and give us names to pray for and the ones and we, four or five of us would go in at a time and they would, we would pass these prayer requests out between all of us and take them home and pray for them and would give each girl a, a list of promises and they, they enjoyed that. We decided to make Christmas boxes from our church and we take names and we, we pass out about 15 or sometimes 20 boxes and they have a lot of good healthy food in them. My friend here is from the reservation, Lorraine Whitehair, and she takes seven or eight boxes out there with her and she says some of them tell them she, they just don't know how they'd live another month without having the extra food. And we hope and pray every day that it will make a difference in their lives. There's really three things that I do on about a daily basis. And uh, one is, is I really like to have in, in my profession, um, I always make sure that I have Bibles in my lobby. Um, so I'm not really actively doing anything for that, but I do like to have Bibles in my lobby of, of, available for people to read. And in my profession, people come into my office a lot, and they're nervous and they're scared. Um, and so I like to pray with people, um, you know, just to ease their their feelings and to let them know that, you know, that um, we have God on our side. I also like to give back, to be able to donate um, dentistry and to be able to give to people who other would, otherwise wouldn't be able to afford. So I like to kind of act like I'm, you know, love you know on the ground you know and by doing that by by donating dentistry giving people dentistry um, that allows them to be able to function feel better about themselves and in turn uh, you know then they can open up a conversation about God and why I do that and about how you know I'm, I'm able and I love God and I want to give back uh, those are really the three things that, that I can do on a I can and do do on a daily basis to you know to spread the light to our community